Matthew 25:36. I was in prison and you came to visit me. This day is Prison Awareness Sunday. Today marks the 33rd year our church in the Philippines remembers and continues to campaign awareness and openness for our brothers and sisters who are in prison. In March 25, 1975, the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines received a letter petition from the death row inmates of New Believed Prisons in Muntinlupa. This started the story of the Episcopal Commission on Prison Welfare, which later on became the Episcopal Commission on Prison Pastoral Care. The CBCP ECPPC, together with several religious, organizations, schools, and NGOs, have been working side by side to improve prison pastoral care and provide truly transformative encounters, realizing the goal of restorative justice for our inmates, or more politely called, persons deprived of liberty. It has been almost four decades, and we have gone a long way. Our understanding and approach have changed over the years, and we continue to campaign for a better and more holistic approach in dealing with our erring brothers and sisters. This also involves their families and respective communities. Public awareness campaigns aim to open the minds of all, including prevailing mindsets and biases, affect change in government policies, and most especially, integrate them once more once again, as free and truly renewed persons with our bigger community, our mission is far from over and more has to be done. Alam nyo po, minsan nagkaroon ako ng pagkakataon na dumalo sa isang misa sa loob ng New Believed Prisons Medium Security Compound. Doon sa loob ng kapilya na puno ng mga preso na dumadalo sa misa, narinig ko ang pinakamalakas na dalangin ng paghingi ng awa. Sa bawat pag-awit ng Panginoon, maawa ka, kinikilabutan ako. Isang animoy tahimik na sigaw, tagos sa laman at puto, tunay na nakaaantig ng puso. Isang paghingi ng tulong, kapatawaran, na parang sinasabi na alam nilang lahat na hindi sila karapat-dapat na makasalanan kami. Ngunit sa bawat pag-awit, puso ang sumisigaw. Kirie eleison, Panginoon, maawa ka. Lest we forget, we are time and again reminded, prisoners or persons deprived of liberty are also human persons with human dignity, inherent, inalienable, and inviolable. Indeed, they made a mistake, some far worse than others. Yet, a person does not lose his dignity despite making a mistake. The immortal saying goes, We hate the sin, condemn the sin, but not the sinner. We rescue the person, we help the sinner rise up again from falling and begin a new life. Such a help is rooted in our firm belief that each person has the capacity to change for the better, especially in an environment and atmosphere of love, care, and support. They too cry, Lord, Lord, have mercy, and ask for forgiveness. It is out of mercy and love that they are moved to cry to God. It is only love and mercy that will transform our brethren who made a mistake, not fear, not force, definitely not terror, not even threatening them with death penalty will make them reform. Only love, love. In today's gospel, Jesus calls us and reminds us of the two greatest commandments, love of God 
and love of neighbor. Simply put, love is the greatest commandment. And as St. Paul says, love is the fulfillment of the law. Prison Awareness Sunday is a call to love, even the most unlovable. It is a call to repair the harm done through transformative encounters that follow the reconciling way Jesus taught us. Sa araw na ito, ipinapaalala sa atin na anuman ang estado ng ating buhay, lahat tayo, maging mga leader o naglilingkod sa simbahan, ang mga nasa pamahalaan, nasa tahanan, paaralan, maging silang mga nasa kulungan, tayong lahat ay tinatawagan at inaanyayahan. Magmahal. Mahalin ang Diyos at kapwa. Pagmamahal na nakaugat sa awa, pagpapatawad, at pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin. Amen. Ito po ang katikeses tungkol sa Prison Awareness Sunday. Ako po si Brother Buen Cruz sa Society of St. Paul. All for the Gospel.